Meet Ben Mala. His life is for sale. Eat, and we're gonna go look at some real estate. For one quarter of a billion dollars. Walk away for a quarter of a billion dollars. Yeah. He owns multiple private jets, a house that most would call a resort on the beaches of Florida with a giant lazy river that's powered by jets so you don't have to kick, you just float. simple, modest home, really, when you think about it. There's also a car collection, which starts with a his and hers garage. This garage here, these three spaces in this garage, belongs to my wife. My side garage is over there. Rolls Royce Dawn Convertible. X7 M50i. Rolls Royce V12 Phantom EWB. Extended wheelbase. Has a sticker price of over $600,000. And uh, comes with curtains. Here we have my work car. This is the going out car. This is my everyday work car. This is a beautiful 2000, I think, 18 Bentley Mulsan RF1 LT. These happen to be made in Germany by, named after you, Re Wacko. Big numbers. So you, this motherfucker here will tear down the road and go right in the water and turns into a giant jet ski. And then there's what made Ben an over $200 million real estate empire. And today we get to meet Ben. Go look at some real estate, not the typical real estate we look at. So get ready. There's something you need to know about Ben Mala, and it's that if you want him to listen to you, sometimes you just have to yell right back at him. Six hundred dollars. You could have done the bathroom. And you would bring this. This to is for somebody that's gonna. I'm trying to tell you shit. So then we go to Yankee Town on Ben Mala's Dixie Cup plane. Get it? Because it looks like a Dixie Cup. It's about a $4 million, 20-year-old plane. And Ben Mala has some advice on how to pay for things like planes versus how you pay for things like real estate. Real estate makes you money. Pay, plane, when you spend money, you want partners. When you're making money, you don't want no partners. So you can keep it all yourself. So then we go to Yankee Town, which is where Ben's buddy Frank is considering speculating on a land and marina deal to maybe build a resort and attract people to Yankee Town. Who's your typical customer? Uh, typical, well, the typical customer would be someone moving from California. Which Ben Mala tells us are not the kind of people to want to jet in. So are you judging the quality of plane in terms of uh, what kind of customers here? Yes. I'm Wait. checking out the money. Go where you see the money. But I don't know. You know, you got to look at every aspect of it. So far, uh, we landed a jet here. That's a good sign. But you're the only Bring jet. people in. Well, got to start somewhere. Look, what was Vegas before you built it? There you go. You build it, and they come. Now, are you into taking that kind of risk? Because what if the people don't come? I'm not into that taking that kind of risk. Uh, no, but I mean, you know, I'm familiar with the area somewhat, and uh, the kind of people we're looking to come here aren't going to be flying in on jets. They're going to be coming in RVs. And why build a hotel room to rent it out for $100 a night when you could rent out an RV pad for $100 a night? Well, then we get to Yankee Town and we learn a lot more about Yankee Town. First, when we land, Frank asks the locals by telling them that he's an investor and asking, hey, should I invest here? Should I bring my dollars to your town? And guess what they had to say? What I'm trying to find out is why would we, you being the leader here, why would we move here? What, what, and, and, and start business here? Why wouldn't you? <laughs> okay. So it, this is the fastest, one of the fastest growing places in the state of Florida. I like to play this strategy a little bit different. And when we went to a restaurant with the mayor and the mayor's assistant, I talked to the wait staff before they even knew I was with the same party because I walked in late because I was filming a YouTube video for you. 
better like the videos. Anyway, I walked in late. They didn't know I was with him, so I sat down at the bar, acted like I was part of a different party, and briefly asked some of the employees, hey, you know, I'm a little bored. What's there to do around here? What do people do for fun? And they said, well, most people leave. That is, there's not much to do here other than there's an observatory tower over there. Some people go camping. Not much entertainment, but we do have half-priced appetizers between three and six. Okay. So anyway, the truth comes out when people don't know what you're really up to. You know, I like the idea of cash flow, but I will say I do also like the idea of appreciation. And I don't know how much of that we're going to have. Uh, in, uh, in, in areas that could at some point in the future be not so profitable anymore. Because see, what happens is sometimes, and I think we frequently forget this because national real estate prices have only been going straight up, right? But once you get into down markets, you get into recessionary times, you do actually get towns that go bankrupt and they disappear, right? Towns can go bankrupt, remember that. I have found my home, the flip-flop repair shop. It's so peaceful here very relaxing but that's because nobody's here yeah but it's nature's here yeah. this is called the nature make a great place. cemetery okay so i have absolutely no idea where we are right now but we're at some kind of marina i think it's like a yankee marina or something like that next to this witchala hoochie river which the speculation appears to be that uh, maybe you could turn this into some kind of destination where people would uh, come for airbnbs and uh, boat charters and rentals and such. I mean, this is a call option is what this is. This is a call option that expires in three years. That is, if you buy this and then in three years you have not uh, managed to uh, attract customers here, your, your call option loses money. Now, you still have some base value, but you're going to lose a lot of probably your investment, unless, of course, the area around it appreciates and, uh, you know, for some reason, uh, other aspects end up going your way, but but then that's that's luck. If it's a nice place, they'll come. If you have nice pads, you got to have nice hookups, you got to have a what decent you clubhouse, but, you're going to have to have a swimming pool, yeah, but that's you're going to have to have nice have docks. You would have to put everything in. Because, I mean, like, if somebody wanted to come here and do wave running rentals or jet ski, you know, whatever, you know, right. airboat rentals, you'd have to have all that infrastructure in here. Yeah. I don't think you have that here. You have nothing here. You've got nothing, yeah. Towards the end of our lunch with the mayor and the mayor's assistant, I asked, hey, tell me a little bit about the development history around here because I don't see much about it. And that's when the truth started coming out. We learned about a 2008 development war where the local attorneys wrote a plan to restrict people like Frank from coming in and doing anything. And maybe that's why the population's plummeting. Because apparently, 85% of the locals are against changing the character of Yankee Town, and that we should review the comprehensive plan on the town's website. Which, during our drive back to the airport, is exactly what I did. And that's when I found out that Yankee Town's got a 27% poverty rate, a population of under 600, that has actually fallen from about 580 to about 504 as of the last count in just the last few years. So people are leaving, not coming. This makes, well, Yankee Town, in my opinion, pure speculation. And take a listen to what I told Ben Mala, which for me was the nail in the coffin, about my findings of what was on that town website and that over 500 page comprehensive plan. Yeah. All right, so uh, another thing I learned is, uh, well, the mayor talking about 85% of the people being against development there, which was the opposite of the 85% pro-development in Texas. And then, then I went and actually read his plan, uh, the county plan, and, and through the entire thing, they talk about how historical and picturesque it is. Then they talk about how the only way we'll permit new development is if our systems can support it. And then they go into about 17 different sections talking about how our sewers can't support new development, our water systems can't support new development, our schools can't support it, nothing can support new development. So they got this 400 page, 400 page document to basically give you a big middle finger for development. Hey, but quick note, this video is brought to you by Public. Go to metkevin.com slash public to get up to $1,000 in totally free stock. What's super cool about Public is that not only can you trade stocks without payment for order flow, without Public trying to sell your information or take advantage of you, you can share your community thoughts and feelings about stocks or investments with everyone in the Public community. You can even follow me there 
by following me at meet Kevin. Check it out by going to metkevin.com slash public. And if you sign up now and deposit any amount of money, you will get up to $1,000 in totally free stock. Check it out. So the next day we decided to talk about something I'm more familiar with, and that's not speculating on land. It's getting into single family real estate. Now Ben did a great thing. He bought a property right. But how is he trying to sell it? And who's right about this renovation? Or are we both right? Because I have some different opinions about the style that Ben chose to either leave or change compared to what I would suggest. But the luxury housing market is falling off a cliff, especially in Florida. So is this the time for Ben to cut and run? What do you think? This house has 12,000 MOL. MOL, you'll see that a lot in real estate terms. It means more or less. Because it's really hard to exactly measure a house of this magnitude and this size. Plus, you got outbuildings. You got a bathroom over there, uh, you know, uh, extra room here, you know. So it's MOL, 12,000 square feet. And there you go. And we're going to put it on the market when it's ready for $12 million. Why? Because 12,000 square feet. A thousand bucks a square foot for this is $12 million. It's simple math. Probably already in one. I'm going to get this thing on the market. We already put a, a test sign out there telling when people it's coming available. As soon as the pool's done and Matt finishes the goddamn list I've given him for the past three months and the landscaper finishes, the baby's going to the market. Perfect. So tomorrow. And you know plenty of people in California. In California, this wouldn't buy you a house one-tenth the size. Did you put in the LED lights in the court? No. So what was wrong with I this I painted place? the poles. Very dirty. Stuff. So uh, why didn't you glaze this? I didn't, why didn't I what? Glaze this, man. What do you mean glaze? Glaze it all! What does that mean? Well, this is like 90s pink tile. It's boring. Glaze it. You never glaze tile? You talking about like epoxy over it? Paint? Yeah, they spray paint it. Yeah, epoxy. We do it on apartments. It's great. And guess what happens? The ground lines disappear too. It's really good. I this feel thing. like, you know, what's going to happen is this. I like a lot of cushion. If somebody comes in here and the wife goes, I don't like the bedroom in the pool area. Yeah. How much? Yeah. All right, uh, 20 grand, done. Take it off the price. Yeah, or you spend $600 now and don't have that 20 grand conversation. What are you doing tomorrow? <laughs> I'm not paying this. <laughs> Mark it down. Get a bid on uh, a pot. You're talking about just painting white? Glaze. All white, white it out? White it out. Glaze it's called epoxy. Yeah, whatever. I mean, put a nice shower head on. Come on, man. This is like 99 cents you got on. 99 cents? You got that at the dollar store. That, that was old. Yeah, I know. Put down a new shower head. No, he's right. These are the things that are going to trick this house out. The new shower head. Get a price on spraying this thing in whitey things, you mean, right? Stuff, the stuff people Whiteworks. see. Like, you don't have toilet bolts on this toilet. <coughs> the, the bolt caps. You see, that's nasty, man. Where? It's, it's on this side. It's like black and gross, you know? It's that little stuff, uh, you know? I don't like, even see the fucking bolt. The, it, well, yeah, I know. It's probably, I don't know. All right, have <laughs> Neil. This is the nitpicking stuff we need to do now because we did all the major work. Now we're going to get some finicky ass person like him in here that's going to tell us all the little details. Yeah, shit like, we do. like the screws, Ben. They got to be straight. Screw oh, you! Yeah. <laughs> Old wash and dryer, but what are you going to do? This, you know, what, this should be semi gloss, Ben. They're using, they're not actually, they're using, a, they're using a matte paint. That's why you're getting fingerprints on the and door. It's, it's exposed to the weather, so you're 100% right. And All right, know, tell, another tell, easy thing. tell Matt, uh, not Matt, Matt Ray, tell Ray, it looks like there's a low sheen on it, yeah. but tell him we want high gloss. Semi-gloss. <laughs> well, protect the weather, semi-gloss. Yes. Uh, 10 bucks, man. We 10 have, bucks, hinges. Hinges. My well, guy can clean them up. Yeah, clean no, them up, the white rebound. You know what he does? Yeah. He, he sands them or some shit or whatever it's machine. It's steel, steel wool. The hinges on the bathroom door, need have Neil fix these hinges like he did in the house. Well, your painter painted the Bose speaker thing shut. Bose schmoes, look at this, baby. Ooh. Ooh. Brand new green egg, baby. Couldn't fit a bigger one See, in. See, but the problem is, it's personal property. It's technically not. It's an extra. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know how much yeah. this thing cost? $600. You could have done the bathroom. <laughs> Do both. <laughs> when you're dealing in millions, this is penny any shit. You want a cushion on these deals. So when they start bitching, you have something to give them. That's when you give them the green egg.
old I'm also oh, not rich. buying it with this 90s kitchen. What are you doing spending all that money on a pool? You, 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 know what? you don't get the whole concept here. That's the problem. The guy don't get the concept. This is a 90s house. This is somebody who loved the fucking 90s. All right? This is the 90s. You can buy a new house. You can buy an old house. But can you buy a preserved 90s house? I'm thinking of putting a fucking disco ball in there. That's 80s. And right. Nobody wants the 90s. <laughs> what year were you born? 92. That explains it. <laughs> That's why you keep wanting to kick me out and get rid of me. Look at this. What? 90s, baby. You did nothing in here, I'm man. a 90s. What are you doing, man? Hey, All right. You know what you could do here? We but you do a lot. Or I could give a credit. Well, come on. Oh, I don't like that kitchen. How much? 100 grand. Could you spend 100 grand to make this kitchen look really look nice? I can make this kitchen All look right, nice. All right, then I'll give you 100. I'll give them a hundred thousand dollar discount if they don't like the fucking see, kitchen. See, this is that's the, the way I do shit. Yeah, you throw away a hundred when you could spend four and keep oh, the hundred. See, you ain't got is, time for that shit. I'm time for that my shit. Projects. You're worried about the, the weeds headaches, outside. The materials, the fucking uh, the GCs or whatever, like the workers. I ain't got time for that shit. First, you always try to split it without doing the work. If you can, you still make a profit. If that doesn't work, then you could be right. Yeah. I might show this house 20 fucking times and nobody likes it because it's outdated. Then you know what I'm gonna say? Get in there and fucking date it up. But I'm gonna test the water first. But then you've ruined your because first impression. Because if I test the water, I get that fucking profit of who won the next deal. Maybe, but then you've ruined the, the first impression. Then people see, oh, it's back in the market. He just put a little more lipstick on it. It kills it. That's the market we're in. It kills it. The market's about to change. Look, Ben, here's what you do. All right, we'll take it. We'll relax a little bit, okay? Here's what you gotta okay, do. Let's relax. Let's calm it's down. It's not much. There are a few things you could do that take it to the next level, but the first thing you gotta do, these are good cabinets. They're very really good. good, very good cabinets, okay? But they look like shit because this is an old color. Change nobody, the hardware. Nobody wants these cabinets. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna paint them. Paint them. You prime them with a wood non-sand primer, maybe a quick little rub down. Everybody likes a quick little rub down. And then you paint them. Probably if you're gonna keep this stone, you go white. Or you change this to like a sparkly white quartz and you paint them gray. And now you've got a modern 2020s kitchen. What about, probably the, probably get, about the hardware? Well, the, all that gold shit's got to go. I mean, I, that was understood. Gold is coming back. No, you not, see the price of gold? Yeah, no, it's been flat. Uh, and this this, <laughs> <laughs> this is not the kind of gold people want. Don't let them, don't let them look at the inside of the refrigerator. Oh. I'll let you feel yourself around. Let's see. Let's get the Meet Kevin tour. I'm just shocked. You are spending so much money outside and you didn't do the kitchen. <coughs> and yet, shit on this house, your, yeah. your reference is, oh, we want the woman to be happy. And yeah, you, look, you drop the ball here. New faucet, baby. Look at that, it has a gun. See, Look at that. That is the right color. But who installed this? Tell Neil type the faucet. Oh, Ben, did you know the lesson on these? The what? The lesson. The lesson? The lesson. Uh, yeah, don't ever fucking try to save it. The guy charged me a porch and put them all back together. What's up? You don't use this to open and close it? You don't? Know, what do you do? You, you finger it? Yeah, you finger it like this. Yeah, you like to finger stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But you know why? Because your staples come out. You've actually got this one. Old, that some people out like to grab the stick, oh. and some people like to use the No, finger. look at this. This, this staple has You're come out. You're a finger guy. Hurt. Some of the other guys are stick men. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the butler's I pantry. can't believe you kept this crap. Oh my god. Don't fuck with, fuck, fuck with it. It's antique. I'm fondling it. I looked them up. You know how much he paid for those? Uh, Back in the 90s, he paid hundreds of dollars for them. They're trash. Those happen to be special knobs handcrafted in gold in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, I want some Chinese quick sets here right now. <laughs> he painted his fucking hair red and green once too. He's got a paint fetish. Maybe you should go to those paint thing, body paint. Yeah, you need the body yeah. paint in California? Yeah, we call them spray tans. Hey, but the paint is more colorful. <laughs> Advisor, decorator, he wanted to come in here, he wanted to get all the gold out, off the doors, off the showers, yeah, off everything, he's right. change all these lights out. He's right. He wanted to go to town, and then he handed me the, the fucking estimate. I said, let's try it without it. No, it's big money these days. For good lighting and good hardware, you can't go quick set in a fucking million dollar mansion. Yeah, you this can. ain't one of your rentals. <laughs> Fine. Sure. Even I know that, and I like or, to go or, cheap. Uh, I don't know, what's the other expensive one? I don't know the expensive Whatever. One. So but it was, no, no, it was hundreds of thousands of dollars. Every, you know how many lights and doorknobs are in this fucking house and hinges? So the list was enormous. It was hundreds, I'm telling you, he gets the cheapest shit around. Okay, look, so uh, what you is know, it? It's 12,000 square feet? It's not a rental. 
Plus it's high, yeah, but there's okay. a lot of shit. So it's about 62,000 square foot homes. My electrical budget for this would be 30 grand. The lights, these lights, and the hardware, 30 grand. And that's a lot. That's a lot. I beg to differ. I will save money on that. Let me guess, you fixed you the central vac. You want to in this house Did you fix you. the central vac too? It works. Okay. We're gonna suck you up with it. <laughs> Let me go play with it if you like later. Yeah. It's a Florida mansion. It's not California. I know. How do I turn this It's a Florida on? mansion. No, no, they have a switch on. We already checked into it. I, I just wanna turn them on. <laughs> I can't see it. Come Look on, this. critique. It's cracking. What is this crap? Uh, Paint and caulk. It's not that hard. And we it's didn't $12 million nitpick house. yet. We didn't, but write these down so I don't have to worry about nitpicking myself. He's doing it for me. So I'm getting a free inspection here. <laughs> All right, go for it. Change this freaking hardware, man. Killing me. Change your hardware. Something that, in my opinion, would bring this, this to 20 This is somebody's gonna I'm trying to tell you shit! <laughs> he talks more than I do. <laughs> when I can. That's a lot. Go ahead. The, the crown molding's beautiful, Thank but you. it's the wrong color. It needs to be ultra pure white, because what they did is they painted it almost to blend in with the wall. You're losing the contrast, that sparkle you could have. Even look at the baseboard. See how much more of a baseboard contrast here between the wall and the base? Subtle. It, it's better than this, because here the crown disappears. You don't even see the crown, because there's no contrast. Paint it! You're worried about 100 grand on light fixtures and stuff, which is a rip off anyway. And you could be doing little things like this. Then we gotta stop painting around the doors. Right? What do you pay people for? So you say I should paint all the crown and all the molding around the windows, Ultra. around all these windows, uh, I, I white it out, go all the fucking way just... with shiny, bright white. Is that what you want? Yes. You're right. I mean, I know you're right. It would brighten it up. It would make it stand out more. That's what I'm saying. That's she, you need her to come in here and pick <laughs> out the light fixtures cheap. You don't spend hundred grand on this stuff. You get them on Amazon or Lowe's, cheap. You know what you need? You need the titty lights, the boob lights. You know those? No. Okay, they're 36 bucks for a pack of two. Pack of uh, two? Boob light. You get two boobs for 36 bucks? It's cheap in California, man. Look, this in the hallways. Yeah, you can't do that. In the house. hallways. That's pretty. I'm just saying, that's 31 that's bucks for a pack of two. style that's been worn out. <laughs> Every apartment has, um, ah! you know. Did some, she did something similar upstairs You're to worried that. about that. I will show you. He's worried about the bronze $31 light fixture that'll class it up and you're not even painting the kitchen yeah. cabinets. This is crooked. Look at that. Wait, you missed the room. That's all. I'll come back for a seat. Look at that. They painted it in crooked now. That's it's what crooked. makes it special. Stop yeah. opening the blinds. You're letting the sun in. Yeah. You're, you're and that means I have to run the AC. That's going to cost an extra $25 look, look a month. Ooh, look at look that. Look at baby. your windows getting wrecked. Don't, See, that, this. You're not supposed to open these. Yeah, is this I know. permanently stained? No, this, this is done. This one all is right, done. new glass. Big no, deal. No, 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 no. You know what you do? What? You don't do this now. You do that in the inspection. You do the kitchen now, and when they come bitch, because I guarantee you they will, that they want 30 new windows in this house for 30 grand, that's when you give it to them. And then you close the deal. Duly noted. Yeah. <laughs> right. The mirror is crooked. Did you guys have levels in Florida? We are kind of weird. We don't see straight. Oh, my there. guy's got one fucking crooked eye, I forgot, that does all my work. All right, come join us for a ride. Oh, no. Look at this. Look at the little lights they have. Open there. air elevator. Mm. The wall paint sucks, man. It's just, it's the crown. It's pink, dude. The crown molding's pink. That, I, you don't have to change much else. Rugs, paint. What Those do I say? What do I say? For. In every single one of my videos, every single one of my paint and carpet. What's Ben doing? None of that. He Not hasn't taken my courses. That's it. He hasn't taken my courses. I just put these in. These weren't here. This is empty. Oh, put the shower glass in. And you put gold. I had to match the gold because otherwise I'd change all the fucking fixtures. That's what I'm saying. I can't believe it. And you didn't even do the new brass. You did the old brass. We had to match the old brass. All right. He's, he's reverse flipping it. He's going into a flip Matt. and dating it more. I'm so stressed out walking through this damn house with this guy over here. And now I'm trying to relax in this Rolls Royce, but it's not enough. So we gotta take it up a level. We'll open this up. You pull this back. Take two fingers, two, okay, two. Open this, out comes your bottle and your drink. 
Hey, so in case you're wondering, one of the ways that we're able to afford traveling or visiting Ben Mall or whatever, everything comes down to real estate first. Everyone should be focused on getting to millionaire status by a real estate first. The Fannie loans, the Freddie loans, they make it so easy for you to leverage your wealth in a safe way, especially if you're buying real estate that can build your wealth so much faster than you can in the stock market. If we put our money into the stock market when we were 18, 19 years old, the money that we had saved up, sure, we may have tripled it through up to the pandemic. And even after the pandemic, maybe we would have even gotten to a Forex. We would have taken $20,000 to maybe sixty dollars to $80,000. But over that same time, frame by buying real estate we were able to turn twenty thousand dollars into over three hundred fifty thousand dollars in just one house which is a 15x and we were able to repeat that process with multiple other homes becoming millionaires through real estate so if you want to learn about investing in real estate make sure to do so via the programs on building your wealth down below you're gonna find a real estate investing course it's zero to millionaire real estate investing everything you need to know for getting started and taking your investments to the next level and identifying deals, whether you're a beginner or you're an advanced investor. The next program is for do-it-yourself property management and rental renovations. So that way you have a guide for exactly the kind of products that we like to use and we continue to update that so that way you regularly get new products as changes and styles change over time. This is really important. We've also got a partnership with Lowe's that's built into these programs. So any course member will get these. If you join the zero to millionaire program, we'll even analyze your real estate investing deal. Once you get a deal into escrow for you, you just post it after you get into escrow. Folks, we look forward to having you. And let's get back to the video. Just make sure to use that coupon code link down below to get 50% off. On the way to Ben Mala's pier, we stopped at one of his strip malls and I asked him about what he has to do, to which of course he said nothing. And then I asked him, what about vacancy? And we found somebody who could have potentially been a prospect who happened to just drive by because they really liked Ben's car. And we asked her, hey, what would it take for you to move your jewelry store into the strip mall? Would you consider it? What do you think about the plaza? How do you like this plaza? What do you think about it? And she promptly said, You don't like this one? I, it's, I don't think it's safe. Gala, one to 10, the plaza. Two, three? Uh, five. To which, of course, Ben Mala had some choice words. The only reason why you even drive it through here is because it's a shortcut to the fucking trailer park behind my shopping center. Look, she's turning there, she's turning there, and she's going right in a fucking trailer. Take your ass off my property. This button's over here. It closes the blinds to the side and back. But see, I don't mind the side and back because I can look outside and see pretty things. I can't block this site. Then we went to Ben Mala's pier. And the most important question I have is, hey, Ben, how much do you actually have to do to maintain this pier and get rent from your tenants? How much uh, How much work do you have to do here? Nothing. Uh, the tenants take care of it? to do. Everything is on the tenants take care of the spaces. We take care of the, keeping the place clean and run the parking garage and keep it touched up and that's it. We do nothing. And how much, uh, how much are you clearing from this place? None of your BI business. It's seasonal. You know, and, uh, so, so he's losing money. Uh, I never lost money in my life, okay? Well, how about those bonds? Market. How about those yeah. bonds? <laughs> Except the friggin' stock market. Anything I control is going to make money. You know why? Because I'm in control. I can touch it. I can feel it. I can make this shit work and make money. Like, like that 90s kitchen. You'll see. You will probably get, I think you bought it well. Like Trust it. me, I bought it well. Yeah. And I got a lot of fat in the deal. Because I got a lot of fat, baby. A lot of meat on the bone. Fat guys do fat deals. <laughs> I also asked him about a tenant who takes Fridays off and what his opinion was on that. If this person ever had trouble paying their rent, I'd say, wait a minute, today's Friday, your store's closed. That's why you can't pay your rent. In the same place, we ran into an employee of one of the retail stores, and there were a couple things this employee could do to potentially change their lives. They were, by the way, subscribers of both Ben and myself. What do you think he should do? What's the question? He's living in a shed in his grandmother's backyard. No bathroom. It's a good way to save money. It is a good way to save money, actually. Save up, man. How old are you? I'm 22. What do you do? I work at DV Collectibles. Next door? Yeah. Oh, that's our tenant. Yeah, great. How about get your real estate license? I was you want to try to do that? You just going to say that. I, I stole it right yeah. before you I could know. say it. I do want to try to do that. Just no, do it. Like, test. just a couple of courses, yeah. one course, and a couple of Online. Uh, test. Do it's it tonight. A, it, listen, <laughs> it's, it's a tool, it's, it's a license here. to make money. Do it. Yeah. Because you can go out and you can keep your job and you can still, you know, try yeah. to do real estate. Yeah. You know, with that haircut, you'll attract all the millennials and all that shit, you know? And, but uh, do it. Like, 
tonight. tonight. Order the stuff online right. and start like reading the bullshit or whatever. Just you know you're studying for a test yeah. that you're gonna not use any of that crap for, like you, in real real estate. That's not real real estate. That's yeah. test real estate. So you, pass that crap with flashcards done. The the only issue is I have to get <coughs> my GED because I didn't go through high school all the way. Let me tell you something, Matt. How long is it taking you to get GED? Uh, two and a half months from the time I started to the end. And you could have done it sooner if I didn't bug yeah. the shit out of you. But the good news for this employee is a couple checkboxes, GED, real estate license, they could transform their lives. We also learned a bit about the difference between the subscribers who watch Meet Kevin and the subscribers who watch Ben Mala. Oh. Yeah, hey, does she have septic there? Uh, no, she doesn't. Thank God. Oh, you know, you're living in septic. Ben. No way. Ben. Oh, now what? My audience is older than yours. That's because I give real info. <laughs> Listen to this. So I've got 69% between 25 and 44. You have 61. You have 10% between 45 and 54. I'm at 13.6. Only because you got a lot more viewers than me. Between 18 and 24. No, this has nothing to do with how many viewers. You got five times the subscribers. It has nothing to do with how many viewers. It's a percentage, Ben. Think about it. Percentages. All right. 18 to 24. You're at 20%, 18 to 24. I'm only at 9.7. 9. It's bullshit. your That's numbers. That's fake news. <laughs> but now we got to talk about the fact that self-employment isn't for everyone. See, Ben Mala started running duck tours, and that didn't lead to a very happy competitor at the same area. Did and then you steal the time yeah. frames right, for man. your Dude, new stupid you. duck boat right from my website or from my brochure? You know... And by the way, if you're going to run boat tours, why the hell would you get a duck boat? You know how many things those people killed in the last year? And are you going to This is what video? you call a hater. Are you gonna but he doesn't realize competition breeds business for everybody. Are we fishing on the fucking boat? No. Does, it, does this boat go on the well, road? I, no. The, You're blocking traffic, mister. The big Pull a cop. Get him arrested. The, get him out of here. The big problem I have with duck boats is all the road pollution, man. Yeah, now you ride yeah, in the brake yeah. dust. Go run right for fucking mayor. You're going to kill people. You're going to pollute the water. Hater. Hater. You stole my tour time, you son of a bitch. I didn't <laughs> <do> <laughs> Fucking hater. And so what were you saying? These places were vacant for what? How long? And what you do? since they were built. Right. They sat empty for probably 15 to 20 years. Right. Dead space. Never rented. All set up to be retail stores. Retail stores don't do good on the second floor. Did people like Common walking traffic? Like. Well, you know, in New York it may, but not in Florida. So basically, we took every store and we made it into a room. 30 grand a room. We built out 10 hotel rooms, investment for $300,000. So basically, we invested 300 grand. We built out 10 rooms. These rooms are now worth at least minimum 250 grand each based on the income they provide as hotel rooms. How much? 250 times 10 is a two million five for a three hundred thousand dollar investment how much are you getting per night it averages by the season anywhere from probably a buck 50 to 250 uh this is a hot spot put you right here on a boardwalk and uh, over the course of a year i have to look at the numbers but these rooms are probably bringing in at least a few grand each a month Minimum. So now you've met Ben Mala, the quarter of a billionaire, and his life is for sale. The really neat thing about Ben Mala is it shows you that anybody can do it, because if he can do it, you can do it too. Damn it. <laughs> no, but seriously, folks, Ben is an amazing person, and it really goes to show that you can make it happen if you put your efforts into investing in real estate. And there are many ways to slice the apple. That's what's beautiful about real estate. You want to do triple net real estate. You want to do single family wedges. You want to do multifamilies, house hacks, flips, whatever. There's so many things you can learn in the real estate community, and it is a wonderful community, and you need to follow Ben Mala. So go to Ben Mala's channel right Right now and make sure to follow him and subscribe hey by the way if you want to watch a podcast between myself and ben there are two there's a one that we're going to link down below of me in the spa with ben learning about how he went from where he was to where he is now and then a second one of myself on his channel where we live stream q a your questions and give you our answers check it out link down below all right folks it's time to go house hunting over here with ben Hurry the hell up already, get in the fucking car. You know we ain't got time for all this bullshit. Let's go, make some money. God damn it.